Reef DVMs coming at you here with the Steel Yard Boss Sweeping. This has been a great tool for my wife, um, and I just got uh, a new package of parts here to help me out with the spring cleaning. So as I dig into this here, you can see what's in here. But these are the um, two boxes that came from my Steel Yard Boss. The Yard Boss is, um, I think it's about a 27.2 cc little engine, um, typical of all the little weed whackers. Um, and it can come with tines on it for cultivating. But I'm going to add um, this larger shield, which can be used both for cultivating and sweeping, and I'm going to use the sweeper attachment. So when it cultivates, it cultivates about 8.5 inches, um, but when it sweeps, it sweeps a lot larger than that. So again, this is the M55 Yard Boss by Steel. It's got tines on it, and I'm going to be uh, switching it over to a sweeper. Um, so that I can go out and clean up the rocks and stuff around my yard and some of those things that I just, you know, I really want to get done without having to bust my butt, so to speak, with um, a broom. It actually attaches pretty easy. I thought this thing would be a lot harder to attach, um, but again, it, it actually attaches pretty good. Just a couple pins and you're pretty much set to go, which is really nice. So here's what it's going to look like uh, once it's kind of all together. And uh, at least at this point, um, I'll show you how to take the tines off. You just pop a pin on each side. The tines come right off. These are the cultivator tines. Again, they give you about eight and a half inches. When you actually sweep with the heavy-duty rubber flaps on grass, driveway, gravel, whatever, you know, it about triples it. So you're probably closer to more like, you know, 20 inches. So again, these things just slide right on. Um, you do need to put the head in either the up or the down position depending upon which way you want it to rotate. I didn't show that here upon the, the setup, um, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll show you when I uh, take it apart. But this is the, uh, again, the Yard Boss with the sweeper on it. I've got the wheel kit on it here. Um, that is optional. Two bolts and that comes off, which allows me then to uh, dig in the garden. Uh, the, you know, for the sake of argument, it's really quite handy to have the wheel kit when you power sweep, and you can see why when I actually run it. Uh, this unit hasn't been started for a couple days, and it is warm out, so traditionally this unit starts pretty good if I press the bulb syringe a few times and choke it all the way, and then give it a, a quick pull here, and I, I should be able to get this going right away. When it's cold, it takes a, a couple pulls to get it going, but when it's just hot, weather like this, it goes pretty good, so... Again, today it's about uh, 70 degrees out. Uh, perfect day for sweeping up here in the spring, uh, and we'll get this uh, we'll get this going for you, so you can take a look at it. The best way I find to sweep is with it rotating away from you, like the directions say, so it's blowing into your driveway. And basically, you push it down into the dirt a little bit, and then walk forward, and then pick it up and walk backward. Um, helps get all the rocks out of my grass from the fall plowing and the winter plowing. So. This thing works really great. I love it. It doesn't shred. It doesn't tear. The rubber seems nice and tough. The engine has um, a nice little gas tank on it. Of course, you know, you got to put your oil in it, but I use the steel oil, so, you know, one little container of that, to one gallon of gas. It's got your additive to prevent it from gumming up and stuff on you, too. Here I am out by the street. I'm just going to kind of clean the street edge here and push all my gravel back up into my gravel driveway. Um, really makes it effortless to use this kind of machine. So, probably makes about a three to four hour sweeping job be done in about an hour for me. So it's well worth a little bit of time it takes to pick it up and run it. It's got pretty nice ergonomic handles, and uh, the handles um, with one screw can actually pull down, which is really nice. And I do like that about it too. As you can see, it'll sweep it right down to the pavement, blast those rocks right back up into my driveway, which is great. Tool's a little bit loud, so I certainly would recommend eye protection and hearing protection. It's probably best to always be safe. And at this point, I'm going to take it apart here, folks. I'm going to show you how that longer shield that I put on goes back down to a shorter shield. So once you put the uh, uh, new shield on, you don't have to take it all apart. You just basically pop the two sides off, and now the middle shield uh, will be used for your cultivating and digging. The shield that it originally came with, well, I don't know, you keep it in a box and store it away. Basically, you pull a pin, and each of the broom pieces come off. And again, this is the same as how I assembled it. And then the rods, you just pull a pin inside, and the little rods come off. So basically, you've got two pins, and it comes off on each side. Pretty easy, folks. 
I've got a wrench here. Um, it did come with a wrench. I just don't like it as well as my little ratchet wrench with the star key on it. Um, but it does come with a wrench and a star key for you to do this. But right now I've got it set so the rotation is pushing the rock away from me. Um, but if I was to use that with the tiller, it would actually push the tiller backwards. So all you do is you loosen um, two set screws on this thing and you rotate it around. Again, I did this when I put the power sweep on. Um, I didn't show it, but I'll show it now. And again, just tighten up these two things and then we'll add the tines back onto it and it'll be ready to dig in the garden. And you can dig in the garden with the wheel kit on. Obviously, it just gives you a little wider footprint. Um, my wife doesn't like it with the wheels on, so I'll probably take the wheels off. Um, that's not tough to do, too. It's basically a bolt through the main housing and a bolt up where it attaches with a little handle, and the wheel kit comes right off. Again, the tines go on uh, fairly easy. Um, just slide them on, and then there's a pin on the outside that holds them in place, and you're pretty much ready to go out and till again. So. Putting the power sweep on and off, yeah, it takes a few minutes, but it literally can save hours of work and calluses on your hands for trying to sweep the gravel off your long driveway or clean up a parking lot at a business um, versus pushing it with a broom or uh, a little sweeper. And then these things store away pretty nice. You put the pin back in the centerpiece, um, you stick it uh, up from the bottom, and then put the pin back in the top so that way you can't lose any parts. And you're pretty much, you know, set to store these things, which is pretty cool about them. I, I like the fact that, you know, they don't actually take up a lot of space. Uh, the actual box here, I'll put the shield back in the box um, just to keep the shield. That's just the two halves, remember? And then, of course, the original shield is in there, too. That's why I'm having a little trouble here getting it to fit. But I'll get it in there. And then, basically, I got the box with the shields for the power sweep and the two power sweeps. And my day of raking up the gravel is all done in about an hour, hour and a half. Thank you for watching, folks. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'll shoot out another video of it in the garden tilling this year. Um, just got to get a little warmer before I can do that. Thank you.